Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Agora's render scene settings so you can start creating renders that look like the ones we use in the thumbnails. In this video I'm going to show you where to find the render scene, how to install it and also how to kind of customize it to your own liking. So let's begin. So first of all what you're going to want to do is come to the Agora community website that's agora.community and head on over to the assets page. Now you won't see it here because at the time of this recording it hasn't been released yet, but you will see it by the time you're watching this video. Now if you do come here and you can't see the asset, it's probably because it could be a little bit uh, further in the future that you're seeing this and we may have added more rigs to the website. So in that case, what you wanna do is come over to environment here in the uh, category tags and just click that and that's going to filter out all of the other assets and give you the environments that we have available to download and you'll find it here. So the asset you're going to be looking for is called the Agora render scene. So download the zip file and unzip it to whichever folder you'd like. Now inside this zip file you're going to find a lighting rig and you're also going to find a JSON file. So first of all, what we want to do is jump over into Maya. You'll see that I've already got the project set to the lighting rig, but we'll come back to that later. And I'm just going to click on new. Once we're in Maya, the first thing that we want to do is come up to windows, settings and preferences and preferences. Or another way you can get to this is by clicking the little running person down here with the gear behind them. And that's going to bring up our preferences window. Then what we want to do is come over here under the settings category and click on color management. And we just want to make sure that the color management preferences are turned on. And then we're going to come down here into input color space rules and simply click add color space name rule. Once we've done that, we're going to save and then let's exit out of Maya. We don't need to worry about saving it. Once we've exited out of Maya, what we want to do is go into this JSON file and we're going to copy it. So I'm just going to right click and copy. And then what we need to do is come over into our Maya folder, which is under documents. So the full path is going to be C drive, users, your name or whatever the PC name is, documents and Maya. And here what we're looking for is a presets folder. Now I don't have one and I didn't have one when Maya was installed. So I'm going to create one. If this is you, just click and go new folder. And we're just going to name this presets, press enter. And then in this folder, we're going to paste our JSON file. Once we've done this, let's go back into Maya. Okay, now that we're back in Maya, let's just create another new scene. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the render settings, which is this little film clapboard with the gear icon. We're going to click on that. And as we'll see here, we've got the kind of preloaded Arnold renderer settings. But if we go into presets, import render settings, and under user, you'll now see that JSON file that we entered into the presets folder. So we're just going to click that. There will be a warning, but you can ignore that. And here you can see now that those uh, out of the box Arnold render settings have been changed. So let's test this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go file and then I'm going to import. And we're going to see here the lighting rig. So here we are in demonstration, Agora render scene, lighting rig. And I'm just going to import that. Now in this folder, there's also an HDR image, a small empty room.exr. We want to keep that in there as well. And I'm just going to click import. Now there will be this uh, error message come up that there's one missing color space used in the scene that is not defined in the selected transform collection. Just click OK. And if we zoom out, we are going to see this giant stage that you're going to be able to put your characters on and animate them. And then this is really handy if you're doing game animation and you want to display your cycles or just cycles in general. It's a nice white background that really just 
gives attention to the animation. So to show you this, what I'm going to do now is import one of our characters and we're going to do a render. So I'm just going to come up to file and create reference and I'll go back up and here I have our alpha character with the Olympic skins that we're releasing for the Anim Challenge this month. So I'm just going to uh, reference this in. Now keep in mind by the time you're seeing this, if it's after July, these rigs won't be available on the site anymore. They were just exclusive for the Anim Challenge for the month of July. So I'm just going to now reference this in. Excellent. And then I'll zoom in here on Alpha and I will turn on the textures. So we can see the textures there. Now let's give this a render and see what it looks like. Okay, and now that's done. That's looking pretty nice. You can see that the sequins on the Olympic outfit have a nice uh, glitter to them and everything's looking pretty nice. So now what happens if maybe you want to change this a little bit? So what we can do is that HDR image that I showed you in the folder before, we can actually change this out for something else and give it a different color look. So let's do that now. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to zoom out just a bit more back out here and I'm going to select the sky box that's surrounding the scene here. And I'm going to come into attribute editor and then go all the way across until I come up to the uh, texture and in the input I'm going to click on this button here and here we can see that there's that error there so that was the color space that it was looking for when the scene first opened so we can just change that if we want to and then what we're going to do is click on this so this is our small empty room image and what I'm going to do is go back up and go into my HDRI uh, folder and then click on Victoria Sunset 4K and I'm going to open that. Now if I zoom back in to where we were and I give this another render, you should see now that the color, the lighting has changed. So now it's a lot darker. Uh, it's using that uh, EXR now to light the scene. And what we can actually do is if I just uh, quit out of this, you can take that sky box and rotate it around to get a different kind of lighting on the scene. So let's just move it around a bit like this. I'll zoom back in and then let's give that another render. So it's changed a little bit, not too much, but you can kind of see that it has changed. But you don't have to have this background here. So let's say that you want to create your own scene with your own set. That's perfectly something that you can do. So I'm just going to quit out of this and I'm going to show you how to set that up. So I'll just go to new scene and I'm not going to save this. Once that's loaded, what we'll do is we're going to reference in alpha again. So I'll create reference. And then what we're going to do is I'll just zoom up here, turn on the textures again. And for rendering in Arnold, you need to use Arnold light. So I'm going to come up here to the Arnold menu and I'm just going to create a sky dome light. And that's going to create what we had around the big stage before. And again, what we're going to do is come into the attribute editor and under the color attributes, I'm going to click this little checker box here and I'm going to select a file and then I'll come back and click on the folder and let's go and grab that uh, sunset one that I had before. I'm going to open that and you can see it more clearly in the background now. Now, one thing that we're definitely going to want to do is come back into our render settings and we're going to go into presets again and we're going to import those render settings again and then click close and let's give it a render. So now you can see that real sort of sunset lighting on alpha here. But as you can see, the actual image is showing up in the background and we don't want that. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to come back here and I'm going to select that sky dome. And this time under the AI sky dome light shape one in the attribute editor, I'm just going to scroll down until I see this little tab here that says visibility. And I'm going to turn the camera right down to zero. So this means it won't show up in our render. So now when I click render current frame, you'll see that that background has disappeared, but we still keep the lighting on alpha. I just want to show you something before we finish up. When you do this render, you'll notice here in my folder, I've got these new files called .tx files. Now, these are things that are created by Arnold to help speed up the rendering process. If you want to turn this off, what you need to do is come back into Maya. We're going to open up the render settings again and go to the Arnold render tab. And then under textures, you'll see here auto convert textures to TX. Switch that off and then it won't create those TX files. So feel free to use this however you want. If you're looking for different HDR images, you can go to a website something like Polyhaven, which has a bunch of free HDRIs. If we take a look here, you can see them all, Autumn Field. Here's a Victoria Sunset that I've downloaded before. So download some of these, experiment and play around with it, and have fun rendering your animations. And if you are participating in this month's Anim Challenge, we're really looking forward to seeing what you come up with and we really hope to see some of these rendered uh, animations come through. So until next time, happy animating.